Hello! I'm going to cover the installation and configuration for the Bluemail email client for Windows. And uh, this email client is going to give you much better uh, performance and options and other features that you would not get from the built-in uh, Pixelcraft SoGo uh, platform, for example. That interface, the SoGo interface, um, is really only a lot of those webmail interfaces like uh, um, like the SoGo interface. They're um, known as webmail interfaces. And uh, they're basically, webmail is, is essentially a, an emergency access for your email account. Uh, webmail, webmail interfaces aren't normally used on a daily basis. So if you're a business user, uh, if you're a personal user who uses your email every day, uh, and you're not using something like Gmail, uh, then uh, you will probably want to install a dedicated email client software, such as Bluemail. There are others as well. Um, Windows, if you're using Windows, you would have the built-in Mail app if you're on Windows 10 or above, which works very similarly to Bluemail. Uh, what I'm going to cover today is Bluemail. It's a free software. It's for Windows. It's for Mac. It's for Linux, a few systems. Uh, Windows is still very common, so we're going to cover uh, the Windows installation today, although the process for Mac would be, or Linux would be, essentially the same. Uh, we're going to download the software to the to my computer, and then we're going to uh, we're going to set it up with a with a Pixelcraft email, and um, and I'm going to sh guide you through that process. Um, and again, so Sogo will always be there for you if you want to access using Sogo. Um, it's generally because it's webmail; it's um, quite limited. Um, and also, you know, it's really for emergency access or if you're traveling uh, away from your home, or if you don't have your tablet or your smartphone or your laptop with you and you need to get into your email. That's what really what webmail is for. That's what Sogo is. It's a webmail interface. And that's why it's a simple interface that really just allows you to do the very basic operations. But for anyone who's, who's using email on a daily basis, highly recommend um, installing some other email client. Uh, and Outlook used to be the common one. That you, if, if you'd worked in an office uh, years ago, you'd probably use Outlook. Uh, things have progressed a little bit since then. Blue Mail is really great, and it's free. So let's go. Let's dive right into it. Uh, I am on the BlueMail.me website. Uh, I'm going to download for Windows 10. Uh, I'm going to get in Store App. Okay, Microsoft Store is opening, and I'm going to install directly from here. Install. Okay, that's done. Ins that's done installing. I'm going to open the app now, and we'll get straight into the setup. Great. Uh, what we're going to do is click continue. Now, w th this will work two different ways. I'm going to recommend, highly recommend using the manual setup. You can uh, just enter your email address in here, your Pixelcraft email address, whatever it is, um, example at example.com. But in this case, uh, if you just add it here, there uh, some of the some of the better security settings. Um, you really want to use um, SSL configuration, and that all. Uh, is done with a manual setup, and I'd highly recommend that just for security purposes. Um, it's really important, especially if you're using your, your email for business. But for any reason, really, you should be using a um, you know secure email system, and this is what we do with a manual setup. So we're not going to enter anything here. We're going to go straight to manual setup. We're going to straight down to the bottom button, manual setup again. Into IMAP. Now, I'm going to use my info at pixelcraft dot agency email address uh, for you it would be whatever other email address you have been provided your username is the same as your email address there's no difference between them uh, your password is your password if you want your password reset because you've forgotten it or lost it or changed it and can't remember um, you may be able to change that yourself you may have to get in touch with your uh, with your manager, or you might have to send me an email or give me a WhatsApp or something, and I'll reset your password for you anytime you like. 
The IMAP server, this is very important. These, these by the way, this is the incoming server settings. Uh, and we need to, the IMAP server to be correct. This is very important. Mail.pixelcraft.agency Security as SSL TLS, as I mentioned before, this is very important. This provides a secure connection between your email client and the email server. Uh, authentication is plain and the port is 993. That's all correct. So we'll click next. Outgoing server settings. So sending mail. Now it's pre-filled the username and it's pre-filled my password. SMTP server is exactly the same as before. Mail.pixelcraft.agency now, even though your username and your password won't be the same as, as my setup here, your SMTP server will be exactly what this is, mail.pixelcraft.agency. It's very important. Now we're going to change a couple things here. Security is going to be SSL TLS once again. Authentication you can leave is automatic, and the port is going to be 465. That's a secure port. Require sign-in checked. Okay, next. Now that has worked. Almost done. What I'm going to do here is put my name in, Andrew Miller, and description I can leave as pixel graph for now. You can change this stuff later. Uh, I'm done. I'm going to click next, and I'm going to leave this with the default um, layout. Welcome to Blue Mail. Great. Uh, I don't want to tour, so I'm going to click no thanks. Now. As you can see, it's worked. It's gone and fetched um, the emails that are in my inbox. So that's great. They're all available. I can preview them. I can reply to them. The first thing I want to do is to send a test email to myself, to one of my other accounts, just to make sure that email sending is working correctly. It's very important. So I'm going to send to um, one of my other accounts. Testing. Here is my test message. Okay. Now you can see it's added a uh, a signature in here. We're going to go and change that in a second. But for now, uh, I'm going to send my test message. Send. Okay. So that's gone, and I can check my email uh, my um, in my Gmail or whatever other email app I'm using, and I can see that that email's gone through there, uh, just to make sure the sending is okay. Uh, so far, so good. Uh, next, uh, next steps. Really, this is this is set up. You can start using it right now. However, there are a couple more things you might want to do. Come down here into this little gear icon. This is your um, Blue Mail settings. Um, most of this stuff is fine. However, in your signature, you will probably want to add your business signature or some other signature other than what's provided to you. If you have uh, an HTML email signature that's been given to you or, the, or that you've generated on a website. Um, all you need to do is copy, you need to clear this out and copy and paste that, that email signature into this area. You can simply uh, leave the e email signature blank if you want, or you can write your own. Uh, you can put my phone number in there. Very simple uh, email signature you can type in, you can leave, you can, you can do whatever you like with this area. Uh, and and then when you save, that's done, and you can you can now begin using your custom email signature everywhere. Email signatures are uh, set up within every email client. So if you set up an email signature here, and then you start using some other email client, like on your phone or on your uh, another laptop that doesn't have Blue Mail on it, um, the, the email signature w that you set here isn't going to carry over to those other clients. Uh, the email signature stays with the client. Uh, unfortunately, that is how it is. It'd be very handy if you could have an email signature that just went with you uh, everywhere you used it on your smartphone, on your tablet. But really, uh, that you know that doesn't happen. So um, we're going to go ahead and save that now, and that's great. I have one email account set up now in Blue Mail. If I wanted to add more email accounts, that's that's fine. Like most email clients, you can have as many email uh, email uh, platforms added into your client as you like. If you have a Gmail account, you can add it in here. If you have a Yahoo account, you can add it in here. Any other uh, business emails, you can add them in. Uh, however, you know the mail settings for those different email accounts will be possibly be different. Um, and every email provider has its own um, mail settings. The outgoing and the incoming server settings might be different. So in the um, 
In the ad account section, you might notice there are some common uh, email platforms here. So it might be if you have a very common global email platform like Gmail or iCloud, uh, you might just be able to go straight in here, enter your email account and your address, and it'll just set it up immediately and you'll be done. However, if it's a more of a custom setup, then maybe that won't be the case, and you'll have to find out what the actual settings for that platform are. It really just depends. So that's, uh, that's it for the setup of Bluemail on Windows. I hope that you enjoyed that, and if you have any questions or if you need your password reset, uh, don't hesitate to reach out to me um, at andrew at brightwood.e, and I look forward to hearing from you. Bye.